what's going on guys not only is the april 2024 pixel update officially live something else has happened with our beloved pixel fold to be specific we're going to talk about that very very quickly but first let's go over what is in the uh, April 2024 Pixel update. If we scroll down, you can see the applicable devices. I don't know why I always try to highlight that and it always jumps back to the top of the article. These are the applicable devices and these are the fixes. If you look down here, you can see these numbers one, two, and three, and then what devices each of these fixes are applicable to. So biometrics, fix for an issue causing black screen to appear when unlocking in certain conditions. And this is for number three, which will be the Pixel 5a 5G, still getting some support and some updates. Under camera, we have a fix for camera stability under certain conditions when switching between different zooms. And that is number two, and that is applicable to pretty much everything but the Pixel tablet. Next up, fix for issue with black halo artifacts appearing under certain conditions in the viewfinder upon transitioning from photo to video mode, and that is for the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro. And then last but not least, fix for an issue where users are unable to re-expose image after tapping anywhere in the viewfinder, and that is for number one as well, which again is the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro. But there is something on this list, rather something that's not on this list, that has also happened for the Pixel Fold. Circle to search is actually live. It is here. And this is such a strange uh, story, I guess you could say, that I, I kind of want to go back just a little bit before I show you circle to search on this device. I made a video back on March the 28th. And in this video, I was talking about whether or not circle to search was coming this week. And the reason that I did this was because Google actually put out a little blog post, and I will pull this up quickly, where they showed us that translation was coming to Circle to Search, but also, if we scroll down, that it was coming, Circle to Search was coming, to some older devices. If we click on the footnote, it pulls this up and it says, Circle to Search is coming, rolling out now to Android devices like the Pixel 6, 6 Pro, 6a, 7a, and the S23 series of phones. And then it says at the end, Circle to Search is coming soon to more devices, including the Pixel Fold and Pixel Tablet. So of course, I made my video basically saying, hey, we don't know what coming soon means. They specifically call out the Pixel 6 and 7a, 6 series and 7a, rolling out now, and then they say, coming soon to the Pixel Fold. So I said, this basically tells us nothing. The idea that it's coming out this week, we don't know that. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I said, probably it's not, because why would they even take the time to put it in its own section if it's rolling out this week? You could just simply say it's rolling out uh, to these devices and include the Pixel Fold in there. And even if it is a couple of days later, no one's really going to notice or say anything. People will just be like, oh, it hasn't hit my device yet. And then eventually <laughs> it did. Well, strangely enough, March the 28th, it is uh, April the 3rd now. So that is like six days and it has hit my device. And I do want to give a shout out to It's Natty for telling me uh, Circle of Search is here for the Pixel Fold because when I installed the update yesterday, I did it immediately, yesterday afternoon, I checked and I did not seem to have Circle to Search. And it wasn't until I spoke with It's Natty on Threads that they confirmed it's working on the inner and outer screen. They told me it would only work on the inner screen at first and that prompted me to try it on my inner screen. And for some reason, that's the situation that I'm currently in. So let's take a look now at Circle to Search as it is currently functioning anyways on my Pixel Fold. So I guess the first thing I kind of want to show you is that it's just not working on my cover display at all. I don't know why it's not working on my cover display. I didn't mean to click on that article. I don't know why it's not working on my cover display, but it's just not working on my cover display. And for whatever reason, that apparently is a thing. Like I said, the person I spoke to on threads, they said that was what happened to them. And eventually it started working on this cover display. So if you installed this update and you've checked like I did and it wasn't working, you're gonna wanna try opening the thing up because apparently that is where it is going to be working. Now, once I am on the tablet display, the next thing I want to point out to you is that when you're on your home screen, you do not have that little navigation bar down there at the bottom. So because of that, you're going to need to be in an app 
to do this. So we'll just jump into threads and if I long press it now, I get a nice little haptic bump and there is circle to search. So what can you do with this? Well, you can circle things and it's going to then grab that image and it's going to perform a search for that. If we go back and let's do this again, I also wanna show you guys that you can move this search bar up and down in case it's in the way. You can put it up there to the top and circle something down low or move it down there, wherever you need it to be. You can also circle text or you can tap text. So let's tap on the word highlighted and of course it's going to highlight that word and you can do a search with that. You can extend, extend that, I should say, out to more text and there is the translation option there as well. So that is on this device straight away. We're looking at an article here on 9 to 5 Google and we're going to do this again and let's circle the pixel watch and let's see if it's able to identify that and of course it did. It's actually a fairly powerful tool. Now again, I do not know why it is just not functioning on my cover display. I have tried rebooting to no avail. Not really sure what's going on. I assume it's going to start working at some point in the near future. It's kind of weirdly backwards, right? Because we had kind of assumed like maybe the holdup was that they needed to make sure it worked on the tablet screen. We still don't have it apparently on the Pixel tablet, but when it rolls out, it's not working on the cover screen for me, but it is on the tablet screen. That's just very uh, almost ironic, kind of odd. And what else is odd is just Google's approach to communication. I've ragged on this a few times in uh, recent videos, and I, I kind of want to touch on it again here really quickly. Why would they take the time to say coming soon? I just, I don't understand. I'm so perplexed by their, their method of communication here. They know that there is a very vocal subset of Pixel Fold users who were frustrated and upset that they weren't getting circled to search at least when the Pixel 7 devices got it because of course this runs the same Tensor G2 as those devices. They know that we were bummed out and upset and frustrated and confused. And even still, they choose to be intentionally vague when they could have been quite a bit clearer and eased those tensions a little bit. I think what it says to me, not necessarily that they don't care, but that they take this sort of, you know, 30,000 foot perspective where these little bumps in the road here and there just aren't that big of a concern to them. We're down here on the ground getting upset by this feature being a week, two weeks later than maybe it should have been. Maybe it's a month later than it should have been. To them, way up there, they just don't see a big problem. So they're just like, yeah, it's coming soon. Like whatever, it'll get there when it gets there and it'll be fine. It's not really gonna matter in the long run. And maybe they're right about that. I don't know. Part of me thinks that they're wrong about that. I think that they're burning some consumers because you gotta think with a foldable device like this, you are targeting the most like hardcore of your consumers, the techiest consumers, the people that are most likely to be plugged in, that are most likely to be frustrated by the things that we're talking about. So I think when it comes to a device like this, you kind of have to do a little bit better than that. But that's just my opinion. I just think it's odd the way that they've gone about this. But at the end of the day, the feature has arrived and it's not that much later than it was on the devices we were expecting to see it launch alongside. So maybe this is okay. Maybe we're in a, oh well, no harm, no foul kind of situation. I do still want to point out that the features from the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro devices, like Magic Editor, which run in the cloud and absolutely could run on this device, have still not, not only have they not arrived, they've not even talked about that, whereas the Z Fold 5 has just gotten the S24 AI features like Generative Edit, which is the same thing as Magic Editor. So in this instance, we've just caught up with Circle to Search. Maybe you could say we're a bit behind on getting those flagship features when compared to Samsung. That's a topic for an entire other video that I've already actually made. So I'm gonna stop there. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.